Hey guys, my name is Eco, and um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the situation that I have going on in my family, and that's cancer. So I want to create a community for other people that are going through similar things that I am, and, and we can help each other out. But um, give a little background that um, about my family is that my mother was diagnosed with stage four gallbladder cancer when we found out. Uh, she was turning turning yellow. She had jaundice, and uh, basically her kidneys were being blocked by something, which they thought maybe would have, would have been kidney stones. But they found that it was a tumor, and then she did surgery to remove the gallbladder, and they thought they they got everything. And two weeks later, the pathology report came back and found out uh, we found out that she had cancer, the cancer had spread to other organs including the head of the pancreas and that's when I hit my nightmare stage which is the first stage that I hit which is the tears, the fears of, of you know the person not being there and and you know the everyday emotional battle that I went through for the first few weeks because you know cancer is that scary word that no one wants to talk about um, especially when it comes to their family and loved ones. So when I heard that, it was it was uh, surreal. It, it felt like it was a dream or a nightmare. And I cried and I, I was angry and I was asking everyone from God to the universe to, to myself, why? Why did this happen to my family or my mother? And yeah, so that was a nightmare stage and uh, I remember the worst uh, part of that um, was a little bit after, but one of the, you know, the thing that I kept on going back to during my nightmare stage was my mom asked me after she had surgery and asked me, um, am I going to die? And I think that was the, the question that no son wants to hear, no loved one wants to hear someone ask them. Um, at that state that they're in and uh, it's an answer that I don't know you know so that was kept on coming back to me in my nightmare stage but um, you know after a few weeks they're still there and, and, and you see them and, and, and you're there to speak to them that's for me I hit the you know the, the, the reality stage which was my mom has cancer and there's nothing I can do about it so the only thing I can do is, is, is give her as much positivity that I can ever give anyone to, to keep fighting, to keep wanting to go forward. So that's basically the stage that I'm in now. Uh, I have my ups and down days, but every day I just thank God and I thank the world that she's here and that I can call her on the phone. And I think during the nightmare stage, we feel like we're, we almost feel like they, they've already gone, like we've buried them. And, but after that stage, you know, you realize that they still have a lot of fight in them and they're a lot stronger than we think. So that's, that's basically the stage I'm in. And every day I go there and I make sure that I give my mom all the light I have, all the positive energy I have. And that's, that's what I've been doing. So chemo she's been through five months of chemo now she's about into her fifth month and that is another stage where we're i'm going to go into more depth about it later on uh with more videos but it's that's one of the things that uh you have to come to grips with as well because as much as they're suffering and things like that people that love you know the loved ones are suffering emotionally as well and seeing my mom drop 70 pounds um wasn't easy and seeing her lose some of her hair and um, and just just always in pain isn't 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 what you want to see of your mother and especially that you can't do anything and and you're help you're helpless but um, you know that you can give them an optimistic day or or a good ten minutes and and make them laugh and do things like that so. What I basically do, one of my tips is to, I just get there in the highest mood, in the best mood I can possibly be, 
so I smile as I'm walking up to the door and you know it kind of those that uh, psychology trick where if you smile long enough you ended up feeling that that, that happy feeling um, so I, I do that as I'm walking up so when I get there she sees her son smiling and in good energy and good vibes and I, I give as much as I can to her as much positivity to her and when I leave I have to sit in the car for a little bit and kind of trying to recover that feeling for myself again because you give them so much that it kind of drains you from that feeling and then it kind of leaves you in that emotional roller coaster but it's worth it right because they're super important to us and we want to leave them even if it's for an inch or an ounce of happiness or an ounce of smiling I'll trade anything for that so just kind of get ready for that get ready for to see a little bit of transformation in, in, in your loved one and how they look and and but they look at you right they look at you for and uh, for that positivity or that that hope and if you go there in that nightmare stage it might it might give off a, a feeling of hopelessness and that's the last thing you want to give someone that you love, right? You want to always make sure that they're in the highest spirits and they're always fighting and they're every day they're, they're going to war, right? And they're going to war for their life, so they really are going to war. So that's one of the tips that I have for you is just keep them smiling, keep them going. And even, you know, my mom cries in front of me as much as I try to stay positive. She cries in front of me almost every day. And that's extremely tough. But it's a part, you know, or another tip is give them something to look forward to short term. So a month, two months down, you know, make sure they, re they remember that days or those days that they have coming up saying like, you're going to be here for that. You know, you're going to you're going to be in the memory. So my brother is having a wedding. I said, Mom, you're going to you're going to be able to dance with your son at his wedding. And, 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 and be a part of, the, of, of his memory for the rest of his life. Because memories last way longer than any person does. So it's, it's one of those, you know, it's one of those things that I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing if it works, but I know it cheered her up yesterday. So for me, that was a little victory in, in my day. And every day, I'm, you know, I, I go to get little victories from my mom and, and and that's what's important to me. So if you have, feel if you feel like you're by yourself, you feel alone, you feel like, you know, that you you are running this by yourself, please comment or, or message me, because you're not alone, right? There's plenty of us that are going through this. We feel singled out because you know sometimes we're the only ones in our friends group or family group that is going through this, but know that there's a there's a great support group and I'm trying to start another one so you know like comment whatever you want um, to to try to let's form a community let's help each other out and let's get each other and our families and our loved ones through this together and any tip that you have for me please share I'm always looking for more tips because I'm new to this this happened five six months ago so please share help anything you can for me and I'll do the same with you if you have any questions please let me know and I'll see you guys soon